you kind of dream about once you first come in here? You know, first two years I was a reliever, last year Saturday guy. You know, just I'm just thankful for all the hard work. You know, you know I'm kind of excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, to just take the mindset of it doesn't matter what day it is, it's still just going out on the bump and throwing. Yeah, so just talking to Coach C today, it's more like, you know, he told me, be me, be the guy that you were last year kind of deal, you know, build off that, like kind of what I was like on Saturday. So he told me to take that mentality and just use that, you know, being like the Friday, so. I, I guess for either, or, you know, Kyle or, or Lola there, just, you guys, how do you feel like the offense is, is coming around at this point, you know, in camp? Uh, I mean, I think we're ready to go. I mean, bottom line, we've been facing these guys. We've been facing one of the best pitching staffs in the country for, you know, all fall and then, you know, two or three weeks in the spring. So it's been a really good preparation for us. I think we're ready to go. Kyle? Yeah, I mean, like he said, we've been facing these guys. And, you know, we kind of get pitched the way, I guess, our scouting reports would say by Coach C. So he kind of knows how to get us out. Um, but I think we're ready. We've been putting in a lot of work in the cages every day. So. I think we're just ready to play. Logan, you guys start with eight games in 10 days. That's unusual start. What Anything different about that going into the season? Uh, I mean, it's definitely different getting the, you know, first, what's it, five games the first two weeks or something like that. I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of unheard of, I guess, the first two weeks of the season. So it's definitely going to be to put to test some of our, some of our pitchers as well. We're going to have to throw some guys out there that might not be used to starting or whatever it is. I mean, there's going to be five games that we're going to have to have that starter that we expect to, you know, five innings put us in a good place to win. Um, I mean, we'll be ready on the position side. I mean, we've been playing four or five games a week regardless, you know, in scrimmages. So I mean, we're ready physically for that. Um, I think on bottom line, we're just ready, we're ready to face somebody else too. <laughs> At some point, it kind of gets monotonous just playing the same, playing the same guys and kind of know what they're going to throw. Uh, we're just ready for that competitive aspect of playing a different, different jersey. Carson was so many games in a short amount of time, you know the bullpen's going to be counted on. How do you see all of that shaking out for you guys? Well, like Logan said, I mean, it's going to give us young pitchers, like, chances to throw and all that with the weekend, week, weekdays being two games. So people are going to have to step up. I mean, the back end of our bullpen, we feel like that's where we get stronger as the game goes on. We feel like we've got a bunch of guys that will be able to shut down opponents as we get into the seventh, eighth, ninth inning. So I think, I mean, our bullpen will be ready to go. For any of you guys, Coach Lee always says opening day is just another game. For you guys, does it have a little special meaning? I mean, not really. It's just like Coach Lee says, it's another game. Yeah, it's cool for us to like, get our emotions going, get all that jittering out or whatever. And it's also good for like the freshmen to kind of see how like game days are and all that. But for us older guys, I mean, it's kind of just another game. Yeah. It's, it's getting back into the routine of playing, which is definitely different than, you know, the practices and the scrimmages where it's a little bit of a different routine. I um, mean, you're going to have, we're going to have, you know, four or five at-bats on Friday. I mean, opening day is going to be awesome. But at the end of the day, we're going to have 220 more in the rest of the season. They're all they're all worth the same amount, so. Carson, do you think you're going to be the guy that would close out games? Is that where you see your role right now? Oh, yeah, definitely right now I will be the closer. But, I mean, like a Coach C and I have taught, I mean, I can see myself coming in seventh inning when we're up by a run or down by a run. I mean, either or. But, I mean, as of now, Friday night I will be the closer. Is it a little different, you know, knowing that you might pitch the ninth as far as you have to sit a little bit longer? And, you know, and what would be your routine as far as starting to stretch out? Yeah, I mean, so I'm a guy that really doesn't have, like, a routine. Like, once my name's called down the bullpen, like, I just kind of get going. I don't really do much. I just kind of start throwing. So it will be different, like, knowing that, like, the ninth inning is usually mine. And, like, I'll have to start, like, pacing myself seventh inning, eighth inning, kind of loosening it up. Whereas, like, last year it was kind of like, hey, Spires, go get hot right here or whatever. So, I mean, it will be a little different, but I'll get used to it. Brooks, how the guys in the, in the rotation handle losing Spencer, you know, and, and the valuable arm that he is? Yeah, I mean, it's a tough one, you know, losing Spence, you know, he's a good arm, you know, he was going to be probably part of our rotation because, I mean, he's been throwing well, you know, all fall, spring. So, I mean, it's just, it's been kind of tough on us, but we're ready to kind of move forward. You know, people got to step up. And I think some of the younger guys know that. So, I mean, we're just kind of looking forward to it. And I think some of the young guys will actually step up for us. Who are some of those younger guys that you think will make the middle? Uh, we got a bunch of them. Uh, one, one that's kind of stuck out to me is Connor O'Rear. He, uh, he's been throwing really well as of late. You know, his velo's jumped up a little bit. And, you know, you can kind of see, like, his confidence is building up as every time he throws. You know, Keyshawn, Davis, Robo, all those guys have, you know, been stepping up as, like, the spring has gone on. So I'm looking forward to watching those guys pitch. 
Cal, you're the guy that has to handle all of those young pitchers. Who's impressed you so far? Well, like Brooks said, we got a lot of guys that have impressed me. Um, Davis Sharp is a freshman who can really pitch, um, gets a lot of guys out, and does a great job of you know manipulating the strike zone to his advantage. And uh, Justin Robleski, like he said, um, he's a really good pitcher as well, left side. Um, he also you know, been working on a couple of pitches and filling up that strike zone. So, you know, for me, it's getting those freshmen not thinking during ball games of, oh, I got to do this or I got to put the ball here, I got to spin it this way or do this. I just want them to just compete. You know, once they get the sign from me, it's just you got to get this guy out no matter how, you know, no matter how you do it. So, for me, I'm just trying to get them to calm down, especially opening weekend. You know, these young guys are going to be a lot of them on the mound. So, we just got to get them to calm down and compete. <laughs> Logan, you guys are probably going to play a little bit different style this year with some of the power that you lost. How have you seen that adjustment in the, the practices you guys have had so far? Um, I mean, I think the answer is on the base paths is we're going to have to steal a lot of bags, and we've really put that to use uh, in our scrimmages. Also, in our strength and, strength and conditioning <coughs> coach, we've did, been doing a lot of like sprint work and everything else. Um, we've, got a guy, we've got guys that, that can really run. Um, I think for us, it's going to be a matter of doing it. I mean, once you do it, you get comfortable doing it, and you want to do it more. So it's going to be. I know opening weekend, we're going to try to we're going to try to really play aggressively on the base pass, and hopefully that'll open things up the rest of the season. Brooks, Monty was saying that you didn't really put a lot of stock in the opening weekend. Like, but how important is this weekend for you guys? Uh, I would say it is kind of important just to see kind of what we have as a team. You know, we lost a lot of guys last year, so we got to figure some things out, like our lineup and also our pitching staff. So I feel like once we kind of see what we're kind of going with, you know, this weekend, you know, who's throwing where, kind of situation, stuff like that, I feel like we'll kind of figure out what kind of year we're going to have. Anything else? All right. Guys, again.